The Patria family of armored modular vehicles are a modern group of highly adaptable and highly mobile units used for transporting troops. They've been designed to protect crews from improvised explosive devices, amongst other dangers, and are highly effective at doing so. Because of this, over a thousand vehicles have been ordered by armies across the world. Let's have a closer look at why. But before we get started, if you enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get more sent straight to your notifications. The original Patria armored vehicle comes from an investigation conducted by the Finnish Army in 1995 on different armored vehicle types. In response, Patria vehicles began to develop different prototype vehicles a year later. They found the 8x8 variant to be most suitable as a replacement for the 6x6 Sisu Posse that was in operation during this development. The Finnish Defense Forces ordered a concept study in 1999 to review the possibilities of this new vehicle. After development by Patria, the first prototype was ready for testing in late 2001. Two years later, in 2003, the FDF ordered 24 of these units to be delivered between 2006 and 2009. The FDF also said that they were looking to order around 100 units in total. At the end of December 2002, the Polish Defense Ministry also placed an order for almost 700 of their own AMVs. This made Patria the leading manufacturer of IFEs in the 15 to 27 ton range throughout Europe. Further to this, more deals were made all over the continent, and also in South Africa, as well as the United Arab Emirates. The vehicle is available in several versions and is qualified for its high level of mine protection. It's fielded with excellent references from crisis management missions in Afghanistan and Chad by EU and NATO forces. It can also boast the fact that it is currently the only vehicle in its class designed for this millennium threat scenario in serial production and fielded for international missions. Because of the need for the vehicle to be flexible, there are many different versions of the Patria AMV, but these can be grouped into three main categories that make up the family of vehicles. These are known as different sections of hull models. All hull models and versions share a maximum amount of shared automotive parts and systems, which creates a flexible vehicle platform system suitable for various purposes. But this also means that the same spare parts and common in-service support elements can be used. The hull models are the basic model with versions like APC, IFV, Reconnaissance Vehicle, FCV, ATGM, MGS, and AMOS. Then there are system platforms like Command and Control, Sensoring Vehicle with Mast, Electronic Warfare Vehicle, Large Workshop Vehicle, Ambulance, Workshop and NBC Reconnaissance. Finally, there are module carrier variants, which can mount on the same basic chassis combat-ready roll kit containers, including weapon and other systems or transport modules, based on the Army standard logistics system. The basic Patria AMV has modular ballistic protection. Its armor consists of changeable modules with different thicknesses that can be adjusted to suit mission requirements. Heavy armor can also be removed during peacetime and for transportation requirements. The maximum protection level is against 30mm armor-piercing rounds. Further to this, as we already mentioned, the AMV also has top-class mine protection. With this, it can take up to a 10kg TNT blast. As proof of this, two up-armored Polish Army vehicles were hit in Afghanistan by RPG-7 rockets. Despite this huge explosion, armor was not penetrated and the vehicles were able to return to base with troops unharmed. Nuclear, biological, and chemical protection with fire suppression systems are also fitted to the Patria as standard. The standard vehicle also comes equipped with Protector M151 remote weapon stations fitted with a Patria PML-127 OWS turret for a 12.7mm machine gun and a 40mm automatic grenade launcher. This turret has electro-hydraulic drives with 360 degree traverse and negative 8 degrees to 48 degrees elevation. The gunner also has a Zeiss Perry Z16A1 sight and NAE 200 day and night periscope sight with Gen 2 Plus image intensifier to help identify targets. If required, there is also an optional ACCD thermal camera that can be used. 
A large range of different weapons can be added to the vehicle depending on what the customer needs. The armored personnel carrier weighs between 35,300 and 57,300 pounds, which is 16 and 26 tones, depending on armor and weapon systems. To move this weight at speeds of over 60 miles per hour or 96.5 kilometers per hour on the road, the AMV has a Scania DI-12 diesel engine as standard which develops 480 or 540 horsepower, which depends on which version is being used. Other diesel engines, such as Caterpillar, Cummins, or MTU can be added to the vehicle if the customer requires. The engine is paired with a ZF automatic transmission with seven forward and one reverse speeds. It also comes with hydro pneumatic suspension and the two front axles are steerable. On top of this, the vehicle is fitted with a central tire inflation system. A massive benefit of how the baseline variant of the Patria AMV is designed is its ability to be fully amphibious. When submerged, it is propelled on water by two water jets. In 2013, Patria upgraded its AMV and launched the AMV XP. The XP stands for extra payload, extra performance, and extra protection. The XP features a modular design like its predecessor, but with stealth technology and low radar and thermal signatures. This vehicle is 27.6 feet or 8.4 meters long, with a width of 9.2 feet or 2.8 meters, and a height of 7.8 feet or 2.4 meters. The combat weight of the vehicle is 70,500 pounds or 32 tons giving it a payload capacity of 33,000 pounds or 15 tons. The XP has a generic vehicle architecture or GVA interface and digital vehicle data and control systems, which gives it the ability of networked interoperability between units. The electrical power generation of the vehicle supports the future requirements for C4I battlefield management and situational awareness systems and health and usage monitoring systems or HUMES. This upgraded version of the standard Patria AMV can be used with a variety of weapons, including 120mm direct fire cannon systems, medium caliber weapon systems, Patria Nemo 120mm turreted mortar systems, as well as anti tank or anti aircraft missile systems to provide even more lethal firepower. The vehicle also has the capacity to hold higher payloads, including all weapon systems, ammunition, and crew equipment based on what the mission requires. The XP carries improvised explosive device protective suits, as well as nuclear, biological, and chemical equivalents to provide protection for soldiers against these threats. To make the extra weight and protection highly mobile, the XP has an inline six cylinder engine generating 450 kilowatts of power and 2,250 newton meters of torque. This drive system features an automatic transmission with seven forward and two reverse gears. Other features of the unit include all-wheel drive systems, run-flat tires, hydraulically operated disc brakes with an anti-lock braking system, and a central tire inflation system for low ground pressure. The AMV utilizes power-assisted steering that is linked mechanically for its first and second axles. It also has an advanced, fully independent hydro pneumatic suspension system to give better performance off road. The Patria XP's mobility is further improved with the integration of a terrain control system as well as optional rear axle steering. The XP offers a road speed of more than 62 miles per hour or 100 kilometers per hour and can travel at a maximum speed of 6.2 miles per hour or 10 kilometers per hour in the water. With all of these features in unison, the XP is capable of operating in the most challenging conditions, including hot deserts and arctic environments. This vehicle is also able to negotiate slopes up to 60%, side slopes to 30%, climb a vertical obstacle of 0.7 meters, and natural and engineered trenches of 2.1 meters maximum. Helping it do this is a fully independent suspension with a double wishbone on every wheel station. The XP Wheeled Armored Vehicle is also equipped with state-of-the-art LED light technology used in the vehicle with improved reliability and performance. What are your thoughts on the Patria family? Let us know in the comments below.
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.